Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your hub staff account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you use the time tracker in hub staff? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, a real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to use your time tracker in hub staff anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're a freelancer or even a business owner, you know that sometimes you have to bill your customers or your clients to the minute and provide them reports on what you are working on. And with Hubstaff, they make it really easy to track your time and submit reports. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and you can do it either with the Hubstaff desktop application or you can just use it right through a browser like what I'm going to do. Now, the difference is if you're going to use it with the desktop application, you're going to be able to take screenshot of what you're working on. So if you're working with a customer that wants to see what you're working on to make sure you're actually working, you definitely want to go ahead and download the desktop application. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and do this on the browser. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Hubstaff account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and track your time once you've logged in, all you're going to do is click on this little clock button here on the top left. Once you do that, it's going to open up a timer. And first thing you're going to do is go ahead and choose a project. So either you're going to put together a project or your customer or client will invite you to a project. If you need help putting together a project, go back and watch my other video that describes how to do that in detail. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and choose this project right here. Now, if there have been any kind of tasks set up for you, it's going to be right here in your to-do list and you can go ahead and choose the task. Okay. So once you've chosen the project and you want to go ahead and start using the time tracker, all you're going to do is just click on this little play icon and you can see it just starts tracking the time. So now we can go ahead and start working as usual. So if you are using the desktop application, it's going to be taking screenshots of what you're doing. Since you're on the dashboard or the browser right now, it's not taking screenshots. So we can just continue our work as normal. So we would just keep moving around. And then once we are done working for that particular client or that particular project, all you're going to do is just come back here to the timer. So you definitely want to leave this browser open, even if you're going to switch into a new browser and then you're just going to click on the stop button. Okay. And let me close this down. Okay. The cool thing about Hubstaff is it's automatically going to start calculating the time. So if we refresh the screen, you can see it says 17 seconds, but that has now increased to a minute and two. So all this in the dashboard right here, we can go back here to me and it's going to show that I've worked a minute and two seconds this month. I'm sorry, this week. And then right down here on the timesheet, it's going to show my billable time. It also shows the projects that I was working on. So as you start to track more and more time through the weeks or through the month, more data is going to populate inside of these reports. So once this time has been calculated, we can easily jump over here to our timesheets to submit those to our clients, or you can go back here to reports and generate a report about the projects that you are working on. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to use the Hubstaff time tracker, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.